Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to colorize a black and white image in like 90 seconds. And we're going to be using the new neural filters. Uh, the filter we're using is still in beta, but it does an incredible job. And this is for people that want to colorize things, get it done quick, get it done dirty, and then make some adjustments after that. All right, so the first step here to get going is I'm going to go into my finder, and I'm going to go ahead and just put in the black and white image. I'm going to drag and drop it, and presto, it says the image, and I'm going to go to open. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got something in my throat. All right, cool. We've got this lady, and it is an original black and white image. This isn't a colorized image that was made black and white. This was taken in black and white. So, and I got it off pexels.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyways, I'm going to left click on this little lock button there. I'm going to unlock it. And now the first step that I like to do is I'm just going to drag and drop it over the plus sign here or hit command or control J on your uh, laptop or your computer. And we create a duplicate layer. So we've got a second layer. Now let's keep going. The next step here is I'm going to right click outside of the, um, the title. So over here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down and I'm going to convert it to a smart object just like that. Boom, done. You'll know it's a smart object by the little uh, sign there in the bottom right of the thumbnail. The next step is you head back up to filter, then you go to neural filters right here. Excellent. Open that bad boy up, and you're going to see the new neural filter options. Now, there are a whole bunch of them, but the one that we are specifically looking for is currently in beta. So you want to click on this little beaker, I suppose that is. It's the little beta beaker. All right, and then from there, you're going to go down here, and you're going to see one called Colorize. Now, if this is your first time using the neural filters or any filter, you'll probably see this little cloud download option, and you have to download the filter first. So it'll take about 30 seconds. I've already done that, so once you've downloaded that, you can now just use this little toggle switch, and bang, it goes to Colorize. Now, the next step is you're going to see over here is I've gone ahead and... Well, I've hit the button, and on the left side here, it's colorized. That was all there was to it. It is not perfect, I'll be honest. You'll notice here there's a little bit of blue on her kneecap that should not be there, and the greens aren't quite as dark as I would have liked, maybe. Um, but it's literally one click, like I said. Uh, you can go ahead in here and adjust some of the, uh, they call it scenes, but basically these are just sliders, so you can increase... The, the diff, change the tinting from, you know, a little more cyan to a little more red, etc., etc., but I might go a little bit up green, but I generally don't do that because we can create a color adjustment layer once we've, once we've done this, and we can do it a little better inside regular Photoshop. That's all it takes to colorize an image, guys. Hit OK, and uh, the image is done. Like, we can now go in and make some adjustments to it, which we'll put in another video, but for those of you that want to get this done quick and dirty, that's it, guys. That's how to colorize an image. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.